Hello Facebook and welcome to the fourth video in the Loran Oils One Flavor Five Ways series. Today we're coming at you with a great recipe for the new year. It's January, you're going to the gym, you're eating better, you want to get energized and we have the recipe for you. This is chai tea granola. It's a little sweet, it's wholesome, and it only takes about 35 minutes to make, which is probably about as long as you'll spend at the gym the first time this year. And because we're using Loran Oil's chai tea flavor, it's going to give you that exotic, energizing flavor and aroma that could even transport you to the streets of India or say, a very overpriced neighborhood in Brooklyn, whatever you prefer. It's super easy to make. In fact, we may even literally turn you into a granola mom. All right, so let's take a look at our ingredients. First, you're going to need one and a half cup of rolled oats. These are also known as old fashioned oats. You're not going to want to get steel cut or instant oats because rolled oats are a little hardier, a little easier to chew, and most importantly for us, uh, they retain their shape when baking. So don't be lame, get old fashioned rolled oats. You're also going to need one and a half cups of crisp rice cereal, two tablespoons of maple syrup, three tablespoons of coconut oil or the same amount of unsalted butter that you've melted, two tablespoons of milk, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and the MVP, one half teaspoon of Loran Oil's chai tea flavor. It's a little bit stronger than your typical extract, so you're gonna get more punch in the flavor of your uh, baked goods than you would normally. And the kind of essence of chai tea is clove, cardamom, and cinnamon. They taste really good, super spicy, really rich and exotic. You're going to love the flavor. So let's get started by mixing our dry ingredients. I'm gonna take my big bowl, and this is super simple. You're gonna take your one and a half cups of rolled oats, and your one and a half cups of crisp rice cereal. And you're just gonna mix them up until they're nice and even. Voila, very simple. And now we're going to mix our wet ingredients. So I'm gonna set this aside here. And that again is our two tablespoons of maple syrup. Our three tablespoons of coconut oil or your unsalted butter that you've melted. And our two tablespoons of milk. Then we need our half of a teaspoon of Loran Oil's chai tea flavor. There we go. It smells so good. And then we're just gonna kind of give that a little mix so that it's nice and even. like an oil and water thing, you just kind of got to give it as good of a mix as you can just to get it nice and even. It's going to kind of turn like a nice coffee brown color, more of a latte really. And there you go. All right, and now we're just going to mix our wet and dry ingredients together. I'm going to set that aside, bring my dry ingredients back over here. I'm going to pour our wet ingredients into our dry ingredients. Perfect. And then we're just gonna mix, mix, mix. And you kinda wanna mix uh, for a little while um, just because it can get a little clumpy. And then we're gonna mix our cinnamon in as well. And mix until it's nice and even. You can kinda hear the crisp rice cereal popping a little. That's how you know you're doing it right. So this is looking perfect. Let's get this goodness ready for the oven. I'm gonna clean up my space a little bit here so you can actually see what I'm doing. All right. Whoop. Perfect. So I'm going to get this onto a cookie sheet that we have pre-greased already. Again, we use just some coconut oil. Uh, you can use butter if you want to go old school, that's just fine. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to start scooping out my granola. I'm going to get it flat on this pan in one nice layer here. And again, I've preheated my oven to 350. And you're going to want to bake this for about 25 to 30 minutes. But every so often, maybe every 10 minutes or so, you're going to want to take it out. And you're just gonna wanna kinda give it a little toss, a little mix, just to break up some of the clumps, make sure that all of your oats and all of your cereal gets toasted on all sides so it's nice and even and golden brown. 
So this is just about ready here. I'm just going to finish filling up my pan. Get that last little bit. Don't want to waste any of it. A few morsels in there we can get onto the pan. Beautiful. All right. So we're going to toss this into the oven down here. We're going to let that bake and uh, when you get done with it you're going to want to take it out make sure all of the little pieces are golden brown the longer you do it the crispier it gets so you know more power to you if you like it crispier put it in a little longer when it's all done to your liking go ahead and put it into an airtight container and you have a healthy wholesome snack that you can just kind of grab little handfuls of you can put it on yogurt do whatever you want with it but what if we want to do something kind of bad? What if we want to get a little naughty? What if we don't want to be so healthy all the time? Well, we have another recipe for you using our granola to do just that. I'm going to clear my space here. I'm going to get my granola that we've already baked. I'm going to get a couple of Granny Smith apples. And we like Granny Smith because they're a little tart. It goes really nice with the sweet chocolate. We're going to get a couple of skewers. And I've already removed the stems from these apples. You're gonna to have to get a little stabby. All those hours at the gym are gonna to start to pay off. And you're just gonna kind of force your skewer right into the top there. It's kind of fun, actually. There we go. And now we're gonna get our chocolate ready to dip. And I've already microwaved 16 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate chips. When you do that, if it feels a little thick still, go ahead and add a little bit of coconut oil. That will help just kind of thin it out and make it a little easier to dip. So these babies are ready to party. And what I like to do is I like to just kind of tip the bowl a little bit and kind of spin them around, get them nice and coated, and then I kind of pull them back out again as I continue to spin just to kind of get some of the excess off. Beautiful. And you know what, if anyone says anything, this is dark chocolate, it has antioxidants in it. So, you know, there you go. Uh, you can then take your apple and just kind of dip it into the granola. You're not going to be able to spin as much as you did in the chocolate, simply because you don't want to lose uh, any of your chocolate in the bowl. And then, just go ahead and take it right out. Lovely, coated. We don't want to lose any of that goodness. And we'll do it again. Just kind of, again, tip your bowl, get your chocolate, kind of take it out slowly. Spin it around a little bit. Dip it in your granola, get a nice little dunk in there. There you go. Super tasty little treat. A chai tea flavored granola and chocolate covered Granny Smith apples. Super simple, all we did was dip and roll our apples into our chocolate, dip it into our granola a little bit, and there you go. I would recommend putting these in the fridge for about 30 minutes just to get that chocolate to harden up a little bit. Uh, that way you don't lose any of the deliciousness. Well, that's it, there you have it. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, if you have any other questions or comments, go ahead and leave a comment on this video. You can also check out uh, a few other chai tea flavor recipes that we have at oneflavor5ways.com. And happy January, happy baking.